So many of you guys have been hyping up episode 100 and beyond like crazy, and I've been saying I'm loving this arc so much, and it's just been going crazy, shit's hitting the fan. I really can't wait. I really gotta keep go I can't wait to finish this show out. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episode 100. Last episode, we ended off with Mimosa trying her best against the reincarnated elf Golden Dawns. And some of you guys actually pointed out in the comments, it's not really a spoiler, obviously, but I just never picked it up or realized it. But the entire Silva family and the Vermilions are not reincarnated, like none of them are. But uh, also said that the vast majority of nobles, I believe, are, and that's why um, William handpicked his Golden Dawn squad to be like that because they would be reincarnated, I believe so. But it's interesting, the fact that the Silvas and the Vermilions aren't. I'm very curious about that. I'm excited to find out what happens. Asa just found out about Yuno. Know. He had the same shocked face that I did, so I don't know how he's gonna take it. The episode title is We Won't Lose to You. That could literally be about anything, so I'm so I'm so curious. I say we hop right into this. I can't waste any more time. Don't forget if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description, like always. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 100. We finally hit that three digit mark. We won't lose to you. Let's do this. Finally, get to see my boy Finral again. Yami's informing him on the situation. Hey, Yami really doesn't know the details. Yep. Hey, come on, my man was super, I know, super injured. I wonder what he's going to say when he uh, sees Langris, though. I'm, I'm nervous about that. Yami's yeah, so fucked up with a sarcastic tone. Seeing my man back in action always feels great. I love his resolve, his new haircut. I like how he's thinking of Asta. Always calls him a snotty-nosed brat, but he cares. Man, upgraded Hammond, upgraded Klaus are scary. I know, I don't want... Klaus respected Asta so much. I hate seeing this. That's what I was wondering. If William can show his affections and his feelings inside of Licked, you know, or Patry, I wonder if anyone will be able to break free. If anyone's gonna break him free, it's gonna be Asta. Oh, this is so sick. Okay. Yeah, this would probably be the worst thing for Mimosa to see. I know Asta's not gonna die, but. If he did, that'd be horrific. That he did. We don't break promises over here. No matter what the current situation is, we always know our long, the long goal. Is this in Yuno's mind right now? Is he gonna break for easy? Thinking of it all that? Come on. To make sister and everyone else happy. Think about the fam. Ooh. Oh, that was such a dope moment. Episode 2. Yes, that's some wind magic. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. And he's still in elf form, so he's gonna be even stronger. Oh my god, this is so crazy. <laughs> Are hella they're hella pointy. Yeah, they're just flabbergasted. Yeah, you're asking me, Mamos, I have no idea. <laughs> yes, please. Heck no. 
On the contrary, I'm very happy you're you. Yeah, what's going on with Licht up there? He's literally just chilling. Okay, he's still recharging. Oh, that could be a case where the elf hasn't fully reincarnated in their bodies yet. Hell yeah. Yes, but I'm so nervous because how are we going to make them leave without damaging their bodies? I have no idea what we're going to do. I'm cool with killing him and let's kill him. Klaus, we got to protect him. This is going to be a crazy fight. Le Chateau de Verre. Oh my, what the hell? I knew Asa was taking his black form, but you know with his combined form as well, spirit assimilation? Okay. No wonder you guys said these episodes were snapping. Special beam cannon over here. My man's just cutting right through it. I love when animes do that, how they have it go white across their face and just act like they're just getting obliterated. I've always loved that. Talk about some strength. I know, I know. Finally stepped into action to save his elf buddies. I wonder if all the swords, the Demon Dweller, Demon Slayer, were all made from his sword magic. Now that I know it's sword magic. He is unbelievably fast. And I think he's trying to take his grimoire. Straight up snatch the sword out. And yeah, it turned white. See, what? If you know did not blast him away and separate them right there, Asa might have died. So this is, I'm assuming, Lick's sword magic, which is just so fucking sick. Liable Tempest. We're gonna try to bind him. That is a dope binding spell, I won't lie. Oh. That sword magic is crazy. Imagine trying to aim at this. Oh my god. I love POV shots like that in anime. It hella reminded me of Mob Psycho right there. Black form is over with. How are we going to fight this man? The first off, this animation is actually incredible. But Licht is so strong. He's literally stopping it like it's nothing. And that was the one that could absorb. That's the one. Yeah. I haven't seen that actually be used in a long time now that we mention it. Oh my god! The fact that Yuno's holding his own right now is insane. It looked like two shooting stars. Oh my god, that animation of him physically dodging those? Is this the first opening? Yeah, mana zone. You ain't you ain't think about that, huh? From the back, you're not looking over here, are you? Oh my god. Oh, like it's nothing, bro. You gotta surpass your limits right now, Asa. I love they're playing this song. 
during this fight. Oh my. Believe in your friends. Believe in us. I got goosebumps all over. Oh my god. Bro, that animation. Look at that. He absorbed so much of the spirit beam that you know shot that thankfully can we get Mimosa out of the way because this is a devastating attack oh my god I was just saying I love when animes do that but it literally shot through the entire graviton stone magic region what the fuck that's how it ends this is a new, like, ending to this ending song, though. The sword that was originally with Licked when he woke up is going into Asa's grimoire? What? All I can say is that fight snapped. I thought the majority of this episode was going to be us breaking Yuno out, but he was easily, his resolve and his will are so determined and strong. As soon as Asta said, I'm going to surpass this, I'm going to be the Wizard King, he, it snapped in his mind. He's like, what? No, you are not, my boy. I'm going to be the Wizard King. And then uh, Hammond and Klaus, easily able to be dealt with, but that's because we're in black form and we're in spirit assimilation form. But then when it comes to actual Licked, he hasn't even fully awakened yet. He hasn't even done his... I love how they showed him with all that mana around him and they said his mana is so dense We've ne i've never seen any mana like that in the show and the fact that he was able to take the demon dweller sword with the sword i want you to know the name of that one i'm assuming that's like the demon something sword and he was able to use both and just absolutely go ham i'm just shocked that you know and asta were able to hold their own like these guys are actual legends and this fight was <laughs> what but then at the end there it showed the third demon sword, the one I was just talking about, kind of go in Asa's grimoire, which we know that's how he pulled out. Um, the first one he pulled out of his grimoire when he was fighting Rebchi. The second one he found at the mana zone, right, where he first met Mars. He found that there, if I'm remembering correctly. And this one was hanging with Lick. So we're going to see how this plays into how this plays a role. But also when it was going into his grimoire, it went from turning the white color like I would expect from Lick's sword magic, and it turned back to like the black rusted kind of look. So I'm super curious about that. I need to know why Asa is the one with the grimoire and the swords. I need to know so much more that I'm not understanding. It's crazy. Also, Asa wasn't, I mean, I'm trying to think, were any of the black bulls transformed? Yeah, Ghosh was. I was just about to say, I don't think any of the black bulls were transformed, but definitely Ghosh. So I'm very curious. Man, there's so many questions I still need answered. All I can say, animation, amazing. Fight, amazing. That The fact that they played the first opening during that fight, ooh, I swear to God, I got chills and goosebumps all over when that happened. Oh, this is going to be insane. I got to watch this next episode. You guys keep saying it only gets better. It only gets more hype. And I, I, I wasn't, I couldn't believe, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't agree with you or believe you until I see this. And now I'm just like, I'm full fucking, I'm on board, full steam ahead, chugga 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 choo choo. You guys heard that? That was another video rendering. I am so excited though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper Channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Check out that Patreon if you guys want early access or full length. Trust me, it'll be a good time. Other than that, Dapper Squad, I appreciate you guys immensely. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day. Peace.